problem they brought. And the cyberbullying point, it is also um, can be rebutted by the 87% of 87% evidence that home should be the place where students use their phones the most. And also, if the camera problems they they oppose that student is likely to take photos of of others and then spread it on the internet. We would like to point out that uh, we have evidence to prove that um, the reason why students would cyber bully others is because of the psychology issues, not because of the existence of phones. And um, and the budget, also the third one, the budget, they did not provide any budget or the exact amount of how their how the so money would be sufficient enough for their plan. And now I would like to first um, elaborate on our plan. Our minor repair is has two aspects. First is providing boxes for students to put their phones in it voluntarily if they feel that phones are a distraction to them. So they put it voluntarily, not was uh, is not is not forced by the teacher. Second is the counseling program that we provided. We believe that this would work because it is a status quo and the it is the is this in the status quo and we had a 75% of success rate in it. And during the during the counseling program, students will not be deprived of the phones of the usage of their phones. So with the policy of promoting e-learning on its way, plus the minor repair with the next step I've come up with, it is not necessary to limit students' rights to use their phones or even ban them. And um, and thus we the next strongly oppose Taiwanese government ban phones in secondary school. Thank you. Affirmative rebuttal. Five minutes. Honorable judges, worthy opponents. Today the negative came out and told us how our plan is not solving the problem and how they are satisfied with the status quo. However, we the affirmative believe the opposite. My fellow teammates have already told you what's the harm now existent in the status quo and how our plan is going to effectively change it. The negative not only failed to face the flawed status quo, but also failed to tackle down our plan. So first I'm going to sum up the clashes in this debate, then summarize the arguments my fellow teammates brought up in this speech. Clash one, um, teaching aids and self-learning. Um, I would like first to clarify um, my fellow, uh, the affirmative, the second affirmative priority clarified that we are tablets that students bring are un allowed, but only the tablets provided by schools are. So, um, yes, and um, so we believe that um, we see, we believe that phones, um, if they want to implement e-learning, phones are not necessary since um, every school in Taiwan has computer computer labs available, which is regulated by the MOE, um, the Ministry of Education, and. These, these computer labs, the computers in these labs can be regulated and they can filter websites such as social media and thus supervising students not to do some things they are not supposed to do. And these phones are more, are, are more distraction and we don't see why, why um, we must use phones if we have these computer labs. And also we have libraries for research. And moreover, in Taiwan, the we already told you that the education format is Lectural base, and this is the culture of Taiwan. Um, there's less, of, so there's less opportunity for students to use phones. And the negative team also failed to prove that students would use their phones for alleged reasons, and they couldn't ensure that if they have phones, they can, they are always doing something they are supposed to do. And if they are not, also if they are not changing the curriculum, we don't see how e-learning is going to fit in um, um, due to cultural reasons. And Moving on to the second class, they talk about safety um, during national di disasters or if a student is stuck in rural areas in a school. And um, we say that in schools, public phones are available and, or the homeroom teacher's phone phones are available for, for the students if they need to contact their parents. And if there's only a minor earthquake um, that students need to confirm their safety due to their parents, students can just send the school can just send notifications to the parents after confirming with teachers. The students don't need to take back all of their phones personally um, just to uh, send a no notification telling their parents that they are safe. And if it's a major disaster, the student is stuck or hurt. And we believe that um, signal towers are probably down at that, per at that circumstance and, and phones can